Hello everyone and welcome to my workshop number four, Clarifying Your Units of Dramatic Action. This is the workshop for my online course called Flesh Out Your Novel, Organizing the Meat. Today we're going to be talking about your, your clarifying your, your dramatic action in Act 1 and Act 3 of your novel. Again in this workshop I've used Star Wars A New Hope as examples of how you can organize your own novel and separate it into scenes that make it easier to see how the action moves through the different acts of your book. And I have found from my own writing that breaking down uh, my novel into acts and then separating them into scenes is a really great way for me to be able to organize how I want the action to flow, how my main character develops, and to make sure that my novel never slows down at any particular point. There are two assignments for this week in the course material and uh, they involve really getting to know your Act 1 and Act 3 very well. You separate the acts into scenes as I mentioned before and you, you just, you're very point form, very short about how you describe each scene moving through your Act 1 and Act 3 but it will allow you to see where maybe you've got some action that doesn't need to be there or isn't in the right place or maybe there's parts of Act 1 and Act 3 in your novel that don't have the action that needs to be there. And so this is a great way for you to be able to organize it, look at it, and, and then move some things around, figure out what might be missing, uh, what can be taken out, and, and whether your main character is really developing in the beginning of your novel and through the end of your novel, the way that you had envisioned them developing. Because if they're not, this gives you a great opportunity to move scenes around and, and to play with your novel. And it's, it's really quite easy and a lot of fun. And as I said before, I found it very useful with my techniques that I've suggested that you use to organize your scenes in this workshop are from screenwriting. And they're used to make sure that the, the screenplay is very visual uh, that it's easy to visualize the scenes from from these different cards that you're going to write. They would then, I'm sure, draw little mock-ups of the different scenes. Now, obviously, in your novel, this isn't going to happen. You know, you do describe the scenes in words, but the imagery, the pictures, the characters, what they look like, and all that is not given to your readers as it would be in a film. So, what you're creating is a, an imaginative scene or set of scenes for your readers whereas in a movie they're, they're showing it to you. But despite the fact that this type of technique is used mostly in screenwriting I think that it transfers very well into novel writing and that's why I've included it in this course and why I think that it's, it's one of the most valuable tools that we can use to organize our novels. It, it really shows us in our minds what our novels look like to our readers and it allows us to step back and take a look in on what our novels look like from the outside which I think is something that a lot of writers need to do because they get very engrossed in their books and they lose sight of what the trees look like for the forest, just the other way around, what the forest looks like for the trees so it's really important to, to do these exercises and take the time to, to not worry if they come out different from your book. I mean, if you need to change your book, it's not the end of the world. That's what this course is about. It's about making your book exactly what you want it to be. I hope be. you all have a lot of fun with the course material this week. Next week in Workshop 5, we'll be getting more in-depth into Act 2 and into the midpoint again of your novel. And... Uh, we will be working very specifically on just Act 2 next week, so you've got the time to work on Act 1 and Act 3 this week. The week after that, we'll be wrapping up our workshops, and it will be a great workshop on talking about the ending of your book, but also talking about some of the, um, the underlying themes in your book that you might want to think about. Once you've got you know, the scenes organized and you've got the, the real meat of your novel planned out, so thank you very much for being here with me again. My name is Jacqueline Snyder, and it's always an honor to give these online courses to all of you, and I hope they help you with writing Act 1 and Act 3 today.
Thank you very much. Have a great week.